What's up guys, it's Xavier Allen here. Today, Fok is going to be helping us join. He wanted some attention, so I'm giving him it. Okay, so today I'm going over three sums smaller. I've been doing a lot of raise problems. Um, I'm going to finish like three sum, four sum, and three sum closest. And then I'm probably going to move on to harder linked lists. And then I'm going to choose another topic. I'm not sure what yet. But anyway, so three sum smaller. Let me zoom in more. If you see me look over here, I'm looking at OBS, not looking at the answers. So given an array of n integers, num nums in the target, find the number of index triplets where that satisfy the condition that the three of those numbers are less than the target. Um, so we have to find the uh, how many combinations are less than that target possible in that array. So negative two, zero, and one, and negative two, zero, and three are possible. So we just return two. So we're gonna wanna keep a sum, obviously. So let's just write, so you can't even see the code. So that's the first thing. Um, I'm gonna go to the whiteboard to kind of, this one's a little bit trickier. So, um, Oh, and so the first thing we're going to want to, it doesn't say it's in sorted order. So let's do that first as well. So, so this is immediately um, O of n squared time. And yeah, because we're sorting it to O of n squared time. Anyway, so let's go back to the whiteboard. So basically, we have it sorted now. So negative 2, 0, 1. Three. So we're going to want to start here and with the first, let's say, I, so I, and then we're going to want to start, um, like, put J here, you know, and then K and loop K through all these. Oops, I guess there's only two. <clears throat> and then once we loop K through, we're going to want to move J and then try K here as well. So, um, so that's how we're gonna have to do it. Um, an easy way is you kind of like, you pass in, so we have one for loop and we pass in the start and so we're gonna, uh, let me just code it, I don't even, I have it in my head. Uh, all right. So we're gonna have a separate function so two sums smaller, but that's what I was trying to explain is that we're um, going to pass in just two, the other two um, indices, instead of loop through all three at the same time, we're gonna do um, two. So we'll call that up here, basically. So we'll have four int i equals zero, i less than nums dot length minus two, because we have to check for checking for two indices after the first one. Um, I plus plus. If we were checking for like four sum, it'd be nums out length minus three. Hopefully that makes sense. And so we're just gonna do sum plus equals. So we're like concatenating the sum for each iteration of i. We're gonna loop through i. Um, <clears throat> sum plus equals two sum smaller and we're going to want to do we're going to have to pass in nums um, target which is going to be we're actually going to pass do target nums minus nums of i because we're subtracting the i index value and uh, i plus one is going to be the start where we're starting in the from the calculation and so let's do that up here Okay, so now we just have to write this out. So we have int sum, we're gonna initialize it to zero as well, because we're just gonna return it. It gets um, concatenated up here. Uh, it doesn't really matter. And we're gonna have int left equals start. 
int to right equals nums dot length minus one. We want the grab the the last right is like the last index in the array, so it's it's this one. This is going to be right, and this is going to be left or start. Okay, and. So we have nums length minus one because nums length gives us the length, which would be out of bounds if we're doing index. So we're gonna do while left is less than right, and we're just gonna increment these accordingly. So let me show you what I mean. If nums of left plus nums of right, yeah is less than target. So this is what we're looking for. It's nums of left and nums of right is less than target. Then we're going to add, concatenate the sum to right minus left. So why is it right minus left? Um, it's right minus left because, well, right's the highest. So if three plus zero is less than target, then that means um, all these numbers in between them are also gonna be less than because it's sorted. So that's why we have that. It's just like a shortcut basically. Um, so if that's the case, um, then we just need to move left up. So we just move left up to the next one. So we can check these values as well. So we have i is negative two this time, j is one. K is three. Um, I think the value is two. So in this case, it would wor not work. Yeah, it would not work because it's equal. Um, so and the other the other thing is the else statement. So if not, we're going to. That means the right is probably too big. So let's make it smaller and check there. Um, hopefully that makes sense. I hope the whiteboard helped. And lastly, we just need to return sum and return sum. I think that should work. So that's going to be the like, O of n squared nums dot length. Oh. O of n squared because we're sorting it, and then um, O of one space complexity because we're not creating any new data structure. So there you have it, 93.57. I don't think you can really get much better. I've gotten 100% before, so I think there's two, two milliseconds was 100%. I don't know why it uses so much memory space if we're not creating a new array, but anyways, <clears throat> thanks for watching, guys.